Bretagne or Brittany in English is that far away region on the northwesternmost part of France. This is our family vacation spent there for a week in the summer of 2020 and I will be giving as many helpful tips possible on the addresses to stay if you are planning to make a trip here. The region of Britannia is made up of four departments and in this trip we covered three of them. Our first stop was in the department of Morbihan. What do you think of this room? It's not a very modern style and I really like that, that it's a little bit like uh, old-fashioned. After driving for 550 kilometers, you really need to have a, a very nice, you know, a clean bedroom. I think it's a beautiful room and we've got a really good deal for 80 euros. Uh, the roof of this house is made of straw or hay and uh, it's, it's definitely very unique. And this is my first time to actually live in a Chaumier house and I'm so excited because I know I'm going to really explore. Mm -hmm. So I was not expecting to actually see a lot of the road signs in the local language. So they have it in French and they also have it in the, in the Langage Breton. Uh, we are less than 10 kilometers from the beach. And ah, oh, is that one more Chaumier? Oh, and I can see this is the uh, breakfast room area. Yes. There's a veranda for breakfast. Oh, it's so cute. It's terrible. Oh, this is for making crepes? Maybe, who knows? And you know, you can sit down over here in the morning mm -hmm. and have this beautiful view. Of mm -hmm. Look, and there's a painting of uh, Chaumier. Wow, look at this. Lovely. I just love it. I just feel like going and sitting over here. What is in that uh, ashray, shall? Is it a, a nest? It looks like a nest, right? It's so strange. We had the craziest of a huge storm last night and we couldn't even go to a restaurant and we went to sleep hungry. <laughs> and so we were waiting for the morning breakfast and here we are. Uh, so this is the typical breakfast that we would get in uh, any of the B&Bs in France and the French breakfast is usually something that's very small, there's no eggs, there's no meat, so no sausages, no bacon. So what do we have? We have orange juice, so uh, this is kind of a very regular feature in the French breakfast. And, and your tea, your milk will be coming soon. Yeah, I guess they are not really used uh, to visitors having mm. tea with milk. So, so we have to we ask. We have to especially ask for the milk. And we have some local delicacies over here. I've forgotten what this is called, but this is kind of some kind of bread it. with jam inside, and there's cookies. And we have a bread selection over here. So crepe. So there's so croissant. Sister is unfolding the crepe. So there's croissant, there's uh, some baguette, sliced baguettes, uh, there's some pancakes. So, and it's very interesting, the owner of so, ooh, the B&Bs, they are generally doing all of the service. So, you know, because like unlike in other countries, you know, even in the UK, there are always helpers or there are, there are staff, basically. In India, you would never expect the owner of the B&B to come and serve you breakfast and clean your room and do the housekeeping and do the maintenance of the property. This is what keeps them fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's mm. why they're, they're so alert. They really know. They understand every need. And there's a saying, uh, if you want something done, do it yourself. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things that I really like over here is that there is no internet. I'm impressed that you are like mentioning that uh, being without internet is great. I feel that this is a great way for me to uh, just keep my mobile aside. I really appreciated the breakfast that we had oh, this it morning. Was delicious. There's one thing that I 
I don't, uh, you know, I just want to bring it up that water was not served. <laughs> water for breakfast? Yes. Oh, I would never take bread. Uh, no, water breakfast. I feel like, you know, in India, water is served. No, you know, pani is served. To, uh, no you know? place in France would think of uh, giving you water for breakfast. Yes? Yeah, it's so weird. I don't know why. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because water is something that people because need to drink. Because we put coffee in the water and we make it hot. <laughs> How much is it again? 80. For two people, it would be 70 euros per night, ah, including the breakfast. 70 euro per night, including breakfast. I think that if we could come back over here again in the future, mm -hmm. uh, I would keep this address. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. this little uh, stone homes do you remember the name of this village it's a it's a little bit of a weird name it's plugin Vella. I was actually expecting for it to be a uh, more touristic uh, with lots more people lots more you know uh, tiny shops touristic but it's not like that so that's a that's a good thing that's a good tip this whole place has actually an air sauvage and this is a word that I've picked up from a lot of the French uh, themselves so they like to visit places that are sauvage which means wild and isolated it's everywhere and and we are so lucky because we have a beautiful sunny day yeah, that's true uh, and we might take a dip in the ocean what? I'm drinking some green tea it looks like sushi it looks like what? Sushen, you know that uh, alcohol based on uh, honey. We're gonna go to the beach, see you later. I think that this is the Al Marine that is also popular as a, as a dish in Britannia. I would have loved to have this, but I really didn't find any restaurant. Maybe, maybe wow, we'll it find. it feels so smooth. So sausage is just sausage. There's no algae inside. Mm. Wow. It's very much uh, like seaweed, right? It is seaweed. Mm, it has a very special taste. Yeah. What do you think of the Hotel Pierre? It's been a while actually that we were last in a hotel in France. So I had almost forgotten that in hotels you don't really have that personal touch that you can have in a gîte or and that, uh, The receptionist can speak, can, can speak French. But that was one aspect that was missing in this hotel. So even though we had a very nice room and we had a wonderful view and the location was superb, but uh, there was no human contact. Uh, and that's of course it's normal it's natural in hotels even in the restaurant that we were in last night i felt the service was a little cold the food was excellent but uh, well uh, but i also found that the portion of the food yeah, so to again, be very small uh, the portion were tiny the food was good yeah the food was but good but the portion small. was too small uh, family run restaurants uh, you know where you are directly engaging with the owners of the restaurant yourself the atmosphere is uh, friendlier It's an amazing pleasant surprise mm. and we can see that the owner of this chateau she really loves everything that's very vintage and she has decorated the chateau with a lot of these old uh, vintage frames with vintage artwork. 
What do you think? What do you it's, think? It's uh, a lovely place. She's very friendly. She's very friendly. I knew the place was nice, but uh, yeah, I completely forgot that uh, there were two separate rooms. One for Tristan, one for us. This is our third vacation home and it looks very nice. Mm -hmm. How much is it? So for those two rooms, for the three of us, including breakfast, is 105 euros. 105 euros per yeah. night? Yeah, and doesn't change. I mean, Tristan could be an adult, it would still be 105. Yeah, I think it's, it's a very, very it's a decent It's a very, very good price. deal. Mm. The, the everything is so neat and nice. Yeah, everything is so neat. I, I love all, all of the finishing touches are so sweet. And we even have like Yves Rocher uh, shampoo. Mm. This old, I'm sure you noticed the old ancient writing She's desk. Oh, this used to we're going to have a nice breakfast tomorrow, I'm sure about that. Au pruno. Et qui sont faits avec des œufs de notre jardin. D'accord, ok, merci. Et les confitures ah. sont faites maison. Tout à fait. Celle-ci, c'est de la prune, uh -huh. de la mûre. De la mûre, d'accord. De la rhubarbe. Uh -huh. Et vous avez des miels qui sont faits dans notre jardin également. D'accord. Et ça. Ça, c'est le caramel au beurre salé. Ah oui. Spécialité oh. bretonne également. D'accord, ok. Les pains sont de, de boulangerie. Voilà, les pains sont faits dans une petite boulangerie qui est à côté de chez nous. Et vous avez de la baguette tradition. Et ici, c'est un pain aux figues. D'accord. Très bien. This is our last day in Bretagne. And we're going to hit the road back to Paris tomorrow. So do you have any last thoughts to share? No, it was a good holiday. Yeah, I think that we have tried to share as much... It was very simple much, to remain in France. Yeah, as much information uh, on our mm. itinerary. Look forward to seeing your comments on my video. Thanks for joining us on this trip. See you!